basically there was a, an ad in the paper for an audition for the heathens of comedy. So these days, you can't make money as a Christian comedian. You've got to go out there and do an act that they're used to saying, you know, the drunk people, I call them. And by the way, I don't drink, but I do drink when I'm uh, on stage. Oh, I'm so sorry you're so offended, you douchebags. I try to make sure that people know. Like, I'll give them a little wink on stage or something. Sometimes I'm even trying to tell them, walk out of the show. Walk out now because what I'm about to say is blasphemy. You know? And some people get it. They get it. They walk out. And I'm, I couldn't be happier. There are tens of thousands of books with evidence for evolution. There is one book with evidence for creationism, the Bible which means that there is as much evidence for creationism as there is for Stephen King's It. You know, a lot of people say it's crazy. Jesus buried dinosaur bones in the ground. Um, I don't think Jesus would do that to test us. God would. I say a prayer right before I go on stage. I don't... There was one girl, and she had a she, her cross was worn very low. And I looked down at the cross, and I caught I caught some upper cleave, and I I I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna well, write God, about. Hold on, a God doesn't need another God. We also want. I do have a catchphrase. It's "Am I right, ladies?" And I was the first one to do that, so that's kind of my claim to fame. Some people say, uh, "Am I right, ladies?" or "Am I right, ladies?" I say, am I right, ladies? And I think people get that by emphasizing the word right, they know I'm right. One of the things that I've done on the tour is uh, I put a dollar bill on a fishing line. I reel it into me, and then I talk to them about Jesus. Yeah, one of the hardest things for me is to talk negatively about uh, our last president George Bush how many uh, how many dead babies it take to paint a house <laughs> depends on how hard you throw them I've written him a number of letters saying you know if you ever happen to see these clips I'm sorry it is not me I wonder what he's doing now like I don't know if he's clear and broad or like if it, him and Cheney have like an Iraqi rape zoo in the basement of their all-white neighborhood it is another guy. It's another guy. It is not this Christian guy. I am kind of like Robin Hood in a way, I guess you could say. I, uh, I am stealing from people who would drink and blaspheme. They're buying tickets. They're buying drinks. Uh, I get a portion of that money. I've probably turned a few souls. I don't want to give a number but I know that people have repented, you know, because I point out that they're drinking. One of the best things about being a Christian is knowing that uh, I don't have to get along with these guys. I don't have to get along with anybody in this stupid world because when I die, I'm going to heaven and I'm going to get a city of gold. Being a Christian has sort of opened me up to not having to work at relationships anymore. And that's why I don't, that's why I don't work at them.